Let's talk about good climbing technique. It's nice to be able to teach your kids some technique. The technique will improve their climbing. Will someone spot me? All right, so I'm ready to go. I turn to Jeff. Spotter ready? Spotter ready. Climbing? Climb on. So Jeff's ready to go. He spots me. I'm climbing along here. Good climbers keep their hips in. If your hips are out, you're using your arms too much. You're hanging on your arms. If your hips are in, your weight is over your toes, you use your legs more. This is primarily a leg sport. If you're an arm climber, you're not gonna do as well. Women, I've taught 3,500 people to climb now and women learn it faster than men because they more naturally climb with their legs. We think we have these and we can use these to climb. It doesn't work. You'll run out of gas. So another way to be a leg climber is to always look down and place your feet first. If you're placing your feet first, then you're gonna rely on your legs more. If you're placing your arm first, you'll rely on your arms first. You can climb sideways like I was doing there, or you can face the wall, whatever you like. Either one works. I kind of prefer sideways. I climb that way. Let kids do it either way. It's really good for kids to cross legs and cross arms. That's all good stuff in climbing. It's a skill. It helps them be better climbers. Encourage all that. All right, coming down. All right. Thank you. So keep your hips in. Lead with your feet. Lead with your feet. Look down, place feet first. Climb sideways or face the wall. The more kids stretch out, the better. When you're stretched out, you, you don't use muscles as much. If you're compacted like this, it becomes like an isometric. So the more spread out you are, the better. That'll keep you, uh, save your energy.